Screen time is the amount of time you spend looking at the screen of your phone or tablet. It can be helpful to track your screen time so you can see how much time you're spending on your devices and make sure you're not using them too much. The easiest way to check the screen time on Android is to use the Digital Wellbeing app. To do this, open the Settings app on your phone or tablet. Scroll down until you find Digital Wellbeing and Parental Controls and tap it. Then you can tap on Dashboard or on the chart showing you the screen time for that day. You'll see a chart showing your screen time for the day. The chart is divided into sections for different apps, so you can see which apps you've used the most. You can also check how much time you use your phone on other days. You can also check your screen time by using a third-party app. There are a number of different apps available, so you can find one that works best for you. Some popular options include Screen Time Tracker, Google Play Console, and Freedom. How to manage your screen time. Once you know how to check your screen time, you can start to manage it. There are a number of different things you can do to reduce your screen time, such as setting screen time limits. You can use the Digital Wellbeing app to set screen time limits for yourself. To do this, tap on the hourglass icon next to an app in the dashboard and enter a time limit. Take breaks from your phone. When you're not using your phone, put it away in a drawer or in another room. This will help you to avoid using it impulsively. Turning off notifications. Notifications can be a major distraction. To reduce the number of notifications you receive, turn them off for all but the most important apps. Using a parental control app. Parental control apps can help you to restrict your access to certain apps and websites. This can be helpful if you're trying to reduce your screen time. By following these tips, you can start to manage your screen time and improve your digital habits. Screen time is just one aspect of digital well-being. Thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tech tutorials and tips.